something, not only to him, but to the ownership group. Hmm. When you talk about Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, right? Think about this. Rudy Gobert is a three-time defensive player of the year. Rudy Gobert is a future Hall of Famer in my eyes. He's going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. Still have a lot of prime left. And you trade him, one of the franchise centerpieces. He's about to blow up the whole thing. Donovan mm. Mitchell will be traded at some point of this season. I could, I'm willing to bet everything I own and have in the bank account that he will be gone from the Utah Jazz. Ooh, that is a whole lot that you are willing to bet then. So, Nick, if, mm -hmm. if that's all on the table, mm -hmm. all of Perk's assets, uh, what is the best fit for Donovan in your opinion? It's very clear to me, Malika, although I've listened to Brian and I'm hearing Tibbs looking at us on TV going, I love what's happening in Utah. So he would love him with the Knicks, <laughs> but the Knicks, even with Donovan, can't win a title with that group that's in place. To me, the best fit for Donovan Mitchell is Miami. Mm. That is yeah, a neither. group with Jimmy Butler and the core they have in place, if they don't have to give up Bam, yeah. they can go win a title right away, right now. And mm. when that offense got bogged down in the playoffs, they needed somebody besides Jimmy to help. Donovan Mitchell's that guy. Okay, so Kendra, you cover the Warriors day in and day out. You're around Western Conference execs. You've seen the landscape of this conference up close. How would you describe, or are folks describing to you, the Jazz's offseason thus far? I mean, is it is it too simple to just say an overhaul, right? The, the Jazz are a team that have made it to the playoffs season and season again, right? But they have not been able to get over that hump. They look around and they see... These teams, not just in the Western Conference, but yeah. Eastern as well, they're getting better, right? Golden State, they reemerged as champions. They have to do something to get over that hump that they have struggled to do. And and they're, you know, taking all their pieces with it to try and try and make it to that next step. Absolutely. Even when we saw when they were the number one seed a couple of years ago, exactly. they didn't quite get to that peak, that pinnacle. We saw them move on from Quinn Snyder as head coach. They have a much younger head coach, who Hardy, who was on the Woj pod, by the way. Everyone go and check that out. How would you sum up their offseason here? They're ready to hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> you, exactly. you know the R word when you see it. Mm. And this is a rebuild mm. that's coming right now. You don't make the moves that they've already started to make. And you don't make it known that Donovan's available when you've had that core in place for so long. Yep. It's only a matter of time. It's time to hit the button. And if Danny Ainge gets back exactly what he wants, it's coming. Perk, have you got to thinking uh, I know that's always dangerous about what you would describe this offseason as for them. You know what? I, I, I mean, it's right. How about that? It's right. That's because think word. about how many times, think about how many times that the Utah Jazz has failed us, right? They have been so dominant in the regular season uh, over the past four or five seasons, either the best, best record in the NBA, second best record in the NBA, been at the top of the Western Conference. And what happened? Early exit. Never got to the conference finals. Never never even sniffed the finals. So when you look at it, it's time, right? Mm. It's only right to blow it up because you wasn't going to get anywhere with Rudy, although he's a hell of a uh, you know player. He's not a second option guy. He's not a third option guy. He's an all-star. Again, he's a Hall of Famer, but he's a guy that plays like a Ben Wallace role for the uh, Detroit Pistons. You look at Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is not a first option guy that's going to get you or win you a championship or even take you to the promised land. But what Donovan Mitchell is, he's a second option guy that you could pair alongside a guy like a Jimmy Butler who showed us he's able to elevate his game when postseason come and be one of the best players in the world. That's who Donovan Mitchell is, and I think the Utah Jazz realized that, that he's not a guy that we could build around for the future for us winning the championship. Well, he is a piece, though, a player that could take an organization, like you mentioned, over the top, an organization that might be knocking on the door. He's a heck of a player who could mm -hmm. absolutely do that. Um, Perk, ha have you done anything to add to your legacy today? My favorite question. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I did. I did. I actually I actually took my, my two oldest sons to basketball uh, practice this morning. That's adding to my legacy. It did. You know, your entire your family is better for it. You have added to your legacy today. For those who are confused <laughs> about this, we'll explain it a little bit Thanks later in the show. Thanks for not asking me because I have mm -hmm. not added to my legacy at all. You're sitting today. next to me on television. You're sitting your right next to your sister. Right <laughs> your sister. That's adding to your okay. legacy. Come on, okay? I'll take it. <laughs>